Good evening, my people. Una una kushe, uh, una kavo, uh, no na no na no na one and only pikin again. Uh, the business guru. Let me not give myself a name, by the way. But una good evening, una kushe, una do, una kavo in Pierre, in Seke, uh, you know, Tadamasi, all, all the all the others. But again, on the most serious notes, I welcome una to the Victor's Business Show again on VOS of uh, West Australia. Today again, I had a very wonderful day. And because so they were in a mist, we get a very huge guest. Uh, we can share a lot of information. So please, if you did it online right now, and also if you did it alone at the Enjoy Echo Fest, first of all, congratulations to Kabaka for that uh, famous. And then yesterday they get 21 stand, 21 musician, or something like that. As I watched part of it, it was good. Uh, look, we pushed the country go before. You know, a lot of, we don't go through a lot as a country. Uh, so sometimes the period like this, we need to come together in respect of our, of our differences. Now, one salo we get, like us people like you say, and we're not getting no side for go. You know, even if you get British passport, Canadian passport, salo not the place for be. And I'm the only country we'll get, yeah. So when I welcome again, and I want to encourage you now, please don't want to share the videos to our friends and family. We want to share because uh, tonight, trust me, if you're not somebody with a contemplate for open business say, in 2020, or maybe you already do the business, whatever information we'll be shared tonight, the very useful. one. And also I want to remind Fambudem, say, please, please, please call in at any given point in time for sort of, you know, um, ask questions or contributions. And uh, also if an honorable call, I just type at the, at the box there. Yeah? So again, my name is uh, Dr. Alfred Bete, and me are the CEO and, and the founder of the Victors, of course, um, uh, we did bring this show live on the course of VOS. <coughs> television now um now today i we get a guest special guest with me uh an exclusive interview by the way this is not the first time we've ever come on this platform so we we really go for be blessed now woman we you know i mean they're very busy but in nature of in job well her full name is michaela Marquet. Uh, i call her m square uh in, in, in the ceo of corporate affairs commission and registrar as well uh i don't want to really talk much about corporate affairs commission because in there uh, in, you know me which i was saying i like sec secondary information we need the resource itself but when i don't know much about today now but before i bring them in uh briefly i just want to look at a little uh 
what I, what they call a cash flow quadrant. Uh, this is not from a book I've read years back, and I've book what I read two times. Uh, it's called, I don't know if the technical team can bring it up quickly, please, so that we family will see this quadrant. Because this is very important for what we discuss. Why? Because 2020 is a year of difference for our lifestyle. By the way, now the beautiful CEO of the Corporate Affairs Commission, uh, it will come on later, very soon, in less, less than a minute. But let me just take you through the cash flow quadrant. Now, the cash flow quadrant to give you four areas of life. Uh, basically, one of the main areas now, now that you could become an employee means you own a job. Uh, you know, once you do work for somebody else. And at the end of the day, what's going to happen is once you work for somebody, um, normally you are trading your time for money. That's what you're doing, really. <laughs> and you're working hard. It's not bad because you get the experience. But a lot of people, a huge part of the population, we not employee. We don't work, we don't trade with time and freedom for money or for work for somebody else. So you have a job. And what is job? Like, we, if you follow me with this, on this program where we start some initially, this this diagram has shown a job is just over broke. That, that, that's what insane, not only your definition. But again, this is one area, not choice where you will make, you know, not one area. Second area is you could be self-employed. Self-employed means you don't work for yourself. Self-employed means you're working for yourself. You get freedom. You own a job. Let's say you're not an electrician or you're not an accountant, you're not a lawyer, you're self-employed. You decide, say, you know what's in me, I they work for myself. So they go hire me on contract and I go work. They, but the one way we'll go for talk about is mainly another business owner. And you go become a business owner, that means you own systems, people that work for you. You know, uh, this is exactly what it is. And the last one is you can become an investor. Investor means money works for you. So for instance, if it is alone, you go invest in treasury bearer bonds, bills, uh, you can invest in land, properties, and that's it. So these are the four areas. You want to make money, these are the four key areas you look at. Well, this program is really about business, of course, but by default, investment, you know, because we don't see, say, we country, or if we Africa as a whole, for long, it's all about employment, and I don't know to talk about. But now again, people that want to do business, you can ask, how do, how are you going to start business? You know, now make we get this kind of show them. But again, you get, how will register my business? We're looking at some of the legal terms them or the documents that want need. Now, make today we get the boss, the Ogat Patakata, we are on top of us businesses and small businesses in this country for can't tell me much today. So, before further ado, I don't waste time because, um, again, like I say, in time very precious. I want to welcome officially to viewers and also on the Victor's Business Show exclusively our darling, we your hero, uh, we your mama, we your, we your sister, Michaela Mackey. Welcome to the Victor's Business Show, viewers. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. So we kick the ball rolling. Uh, when I see you, I see the smile. And and Michaela, tell me much about me. But not, I mean, for some people, they're not the first time they see see you. And uh, so tell me something about you. Okay. Again, thank you very much to VOS for this opportunity. Follow me able for give more information with people then, regardless of who side in the it's really humbling for me when I give me this opportunity. Okay, just as you say, my name na Michaela McKay. Um, as of now, me na the chief executive officer and the registrar of Corporate Affairs Commission. And in a nutshell, Corporate Affairs Commission, now we the register companies them necessarily. So every company, whether in a public company or a private company, where you are for register now. You can to the Corporate Affairs Commission. You know, the status code don't change. Some time ago, years ago, everybody be the go now, the famous Oxy building for go do everything relating to companies. But um, since the act was passed in 2009, the Companies Act, although it takes some time for set up the commission, but when eventually we set up the commission and we opened the doors to the public in 2016, and specifically in January, now we now they oversee all company matters in Sierra Leone. Right. I, I really want to be the deaf into this very much so today. Well, uh, uh, because I see you as an icon. I see you as an inspirational face for the young, real young women, especially women, and female in those countries. You know, you don't rise to this level and people that see you, perhaps you, you're so successful in your own right. And, 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 and I'm sure you are a role model. Now, we'll take you through some of the journey briefly. This is not why you're here tonight, but again, because we audience, part of your audience are people that were young. And one know a bit more of your success story. Let's put it that way. You know, let's go take us, take us through the ride. You know, where it all started, where you are, what you study. That can be inspirational for somebody tonight. 
Oh wow. Okay. Um. Well, just like just like as met any other Sierra Leonean, you know, since I was young, I'll be always one for do something for the help people. Then, but actual fact, I'll be one for the military. <laughs> but um, really? there was a time when uh, we parents and we really didn't encourage that because you know, you know, we look at a profit like a profitable field or something where you know it be safe for women them. So I wasn't really encouraged. But anyway, the long and short of it, um, it's. I mean, like, you know, things related to the law. Um, I mean, I come up from a family with me, daddy and a lawyer, and I've been lawyer. I mean, grandpa Seth and I've been lawyer. So one way or the other, you know, I'm from where I'm small at the area, all in terminologies and things. So <laughs> he always get me excited. Anyway, um, I go St. Joseph's and then St. Ted was for a year. I go for a college where I do my first degree. But because I wasn't too sure whether I really want to do law, I don't mean go straight into law. I just go do arts um, to get me BA. And then I offered law subjects. So, you know, I want to be sure to say not to me, me that did influence me for Duam. That is something I really wanted to do. I was passionate about. And I find out, say, you know, I really excel and I was enjoying it. For me, it was just fun. Was where I'd done for big college, uh, you know. My family decides to well, make I go abroad for go study. So I actually go study me, um, law in England. Um, right. Go home college, but the University of London exams, external program, and a pass. Went to America for a little while, and then I decided to come home for Kandu the bar. Um, because when I left, my intention was never to stay, you know, stay abroad. I always wanted to come back home and forgive back to my own country, you know, because I think, see, we all can't go away. If we all go away, we would have go help for make the country, you know. So I come back home, do me, me, me bar, begin practice, you know, be the study, do courses online and things like that. Um, but even in private practice, I wasn't really challenged. Um, I feel like I'm able to make better impact outside. So I'm here for left legal practice and go into more or less like the corporate world in a way. Worked with the UNDP at that time, that any what just done really collapsed me of the legal system. All the courts them in the lock, magistrate court them. So me I'm the local consultant for health for resuscitate the magistrate court in the, in the region. And I work with then the Justice Bureau, we I'm the ex um, chief justice now the Gambia, you know, begin train um legal practitioners for able to get to the bench, you know, put quite a lot of systems in place. Um, but then I, I decide say, you know, I, I one thing I was always interested about was telecoms. Uh, you know, telecoms really is my passion. I just love ICT innovation and all of that. But I find that if you're in private practice, the chances of you getting briefs on a daily basis on such specialized area be very slim. So mm. I decided to take an opportunity and go into the telecom sector. So me and I be more or less like the first in-house council we sell tell being get at that time. So I had to put in place structures and systems. And um, I rose to the point when I mean I'm the only female sale union with a CDOM na, na a board, na a foreign board. You know, so I had a lot of exposures and, and all that. But whilst I was there, um, long and short of it, the tech, the communication, the Companies Act 2009 was passed. So I actually remember, and as a company secretary and head of legal and regulatory, I mean, my responsibility for the advice the company on all the issues they are. So I remember looking at that legislation and I'm thinking, oh, God, I saw you for the possibility of go ahead this commission, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because I could see the amount of work we've been here for be done and all that. Anyway, long and short of it, I left there. I decided to go to NATCOM. I worked as a legal and regulatory um, head of NATCOM for, you know, over three and a half years because I've been one get more experience from operator end, from regulator end. And my next step was actually for go to supplier end. So I was thinking mm. of either going to Nokia, one of the inside in day. Um, okay, go back to England, work for Commonwealth Telecoms Organization for a bit and come back. So mm. um, when I come back now, um, as, okay, this there was this offer for this, this position. And I say, you know, it's in like apply because it was time for me to test, put my leadership skills to play. Test. You know, it's yeah. operational things. Yes, you get the expertise, you read really the law, you understand. But um, leadership, you're not a textbook business. You get for really day now, able for the take strategic decisions, for the, able for the, you know, um, really able to test your capabilities. Mm. And well, as God can have it, I was offered the job. And um, I was given the keys to an empty building. <laughs> and I was staying at the office. I did not even have a chair to sit on. I sat wow. on the floor. 
And I'm wow. thinking, God, have I made the right decision? <laughs> but anyway, but I had a board, although the board not be really able for on their own for help the commission for stand. But we then trust, you know, they be able to understand my vision. They believed in me when they had no reason to. Then we just know Usa wanted the commission go, and they know nothing was gonna stop me. So they gave me all the support that I needed. Set up the office, begin for recruit staff. I trained them all on my own, you know. And uh, we begin for look at amending the Companies Act because there were certain critical things that we needed to look at before we open the doors to the public. You know, it's like building the foundation to a house. You not just to get the land and you have a block on top. You get for dig, yeah. dig, dig. You go down. You turn the soil. You know. You restruct. You look at your plan. You change what you get for change. So it took some time before we opened the doors to the public. But still, we had to get those things right. So we be amend the Companies Act. So we get Companies Amendment of 2014. We had to draft the regulations, Company Regulations 2015, for help for put a unified or rather harmonized processes in place. We want to be can observe what we start the commission. The fact that um, first of all, we being get for be very hands on because that's everything then a register general's office. So for like you take over something, you need to know which you did take over in the first place. Yeah. So me and the team, we were hands on. We had on even mask. They were with the work in a register general's office because we need to go through files up to the eighteen hundreds. You can only imagine what will be the go for see what you really will they take over. You know, and that process, it helped a lot in terms of the team building. It gave you a lot of information on the status of USAI companies then day. Why are these people not complying? Most of the files were just literally empty files from where they incorporate. They're not on do. All the company are as old as the PZs of this world been there on the register. When then people they are so not in any way be they contribute to the economy of the country. So clearly, we need to do some cleanup. So now I'll be the initial thing that all will be the do backstage where Boko people are now aware I say we'll be the doing anything in there. Mm. But we were working hard and working as CDOC when we open the doors to the public from the one people go see a difference. From the one people go no say we did it for self, and from the one we go able to make the processes there easy for we family and for able for start business and for make them get corporate sanity in the country. Amazing, amazing uh, story. I'm inspired. And um, trust me, if I just am not inspired uh, with a lot of things, and you're still young, by the way. Eh? So I can just imagine 20 years down the line, another achievements that we go back. But thank you very much for sharing that. And that's beautiful. Now, let me come down to the commission itself. Um, because, like I said, most people that would hear about the commission, but they don't even know what the commission is about. We did really, I want to do tonight is to break it down to the layman's view. Somebody we local assets and na 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 Google markets, you know, for understand which the commission there for and which one they do. Just in a nutshell, break them down for me. Which in the commission they are all about? Okay. Um. Though the name big corporate affairs commission, what really all it mean na like a company house. That like for instance, in England, it's actually called the company's house. In Nigeria, they call a corporate affairs commission. Nigeria, in Ghana, it's a free corporate affairs commission. But all it mean is that a place where they can call back a registry, where if you want for start business and a company you want for start, now we you they deal with. You can either come now we office physically or you can go now with websites where you will get access to all the information they did from them from the one they were able for use computer. Or mm -hmm. able for access information online. So what you really do, we work really now for regulates, but not so, so much. We're not a regulate the nature of your business. We they regulate the corporate, your corporate lifespan. So means from where the company begin till to that end, where the company end, whether or not now you end up of your own free will or something, things no go right along the way, and at the commission get for end up with a play that oversight school and that supervision. So from the point where you don't incorporate, where you don't count to wouldn't say you incorporate that and like you say, we will give you bad certificate for say your company, they don't set up. Now certain documents and they will you get for submit to, to we, now we get a simple, what they call a three-step process. Now under the law, for make you set up company, you first get for make sure say no other business not the way they use that name. And a simple reason that now for me confusion no good day. For instance, you know go one register if you want for register for you know um say um 
Sierra Leone Football Limited, you get for check. Anybody, the way they use that name, they because I know we want confusion to marry mm. and buy. So we get what to they call a name search where you do. If you do an online, you go able to go to the search engine, you put the name they and see if that name they available, if possible in the user. Mm. So on 10 day, you know go see the name, you go see say the name available, but you know me say straight away you they able to use them based on the kind of words then where you use na that name they you get certain mm. word them or we will call restricted names. Hmm. Sierra Leone is one of them. And the reason why Sierra Leone is restricted because of the sovereignty, what to call sovereignty we attached to them. You know that the right. name of a country. So if you set up company, you they use the name Sierra Leone, the first thing that they think of say it is state owned or government do invest in them. So yeah. for using that name day, we get regulations where they guide you, where they tell you say one. You get for can show proof, say you get connection with a government department or agency. Mm. You can with that proof day where the government get for show, for instance, for say where well, maybe they want to implement they want to implement a particular project, and but because they're not there on the operational side, maybe then they will put a particular business for implement a project day. Once we don't get the authorization day, we they able for say, okay, you're now free for use the name, but you mm. will pay small T normal because you use a restricted name. Mm. So the names are like Sierra Leone, you want for you still like a municipality. You want for use um till like a holding or group, the kind of you say group of companies you get for show. So there's evidence you get for produce for say, okay, um, I get shareholdings now other company them, so I can able forget you know a company with the name group. All right. All yeah. right, so when you don't do the name search, you don't clear the name, plan and not the name. The next step now for submit the documentation. All the documents and they back the day now with website. If you go under family, you go under services. Under services, you go under incorporation. Local incorporation, you will see step by step all the documents the way you need. Now, one of the challenges will family can get now this thing where they call memorandum and articles of association, M and A. The name big, but basically now the, now the tool where they guide you operations, where they govern you, you know, the, the instruments where they govern you as a company, where they should be waiting and waiting on how they do as a company. They, they will tell you the kind of relationship also they get with outsiders, with external parties, yeah, that m and Years ago, or probably not too far ago, long ago, people then be they charge three, four, five thousand dollars for incorporate company in this country. Wow. What we don't do, for make it easy, we get to what we call templates, where we upload on the website. That template is not cast in stone. It just they give you a guide, the kind thing them, which you for put on your M&A. Yeah. You, go, you, go, you go see, Usa, you see dash? It means say you for filling that blankly. So now you for tell me, for instance, waiting at the nature of your business, who's kind thing that you want to do, now telecommunications, now general merchant, you know, you want for just be general sales person, you want for do construction, you they put them um, all in that M and D, fill in them blank space, and they the subscribers then sign because at that time they are not incorporated. So then the owner them, they call them subscribers, then they sign. If a company limited by by shares, on a go state almost shares on a they get and all that. Then they go submit the notices them. All that day we don't simplify and we don't put another another website. website. But again, for we found away, probably not a need because we also they understand we own operational circumstances. We get help desk now we office. Anybody can walk in at any time. In no need for see me. In no need for see any other person. If they go to the help desk, we get trained officer where they sit on there at all times. You they tell her what you want. You can do the name check there and then it's free. You they fill out what you call a form twenty eight. Now. For people that we not don't understand or maybe not don't follow when we read your programs, let us use the opportunity for say this. Any form where the, the commission asks you for complete, whether physically or on the website, if you get a number, you say from 28 or from 32, 211, then number then they, they refer you to the section of the Companies Act where give you the mandate for request that information. Mm. All right? Because some person, you want to know why one they ask me for say my name, not for mix with other person name. So when you complete form 28, if you come in person, you they give you options one, two, and three. When I check option one, if they see the name, they were similar to so that they same or similar, they will tell you say, this is not available here, they look for you for option two. 
So if option two clear, then we'll tick option two, and then you get your approval for use um, option two. So same thing, if you're in a foreign company, you go complete form 485. Why? Because section 485 now the company is that nine talk about foreign company registration. Now I go explain who done a foreign company, how you for register. So just for the family, they know all reforms, they will get numbers, they refer you to the section of the act. Now the easy way we'll put them formed in the will be one uniformity in the way they receive information from everybody. Because as Unaki Kikorwe mentioned earlier, when will we they go through the physical check of these files? Because now every file, the hard copies, we they keep them by date, month, and year, and we get archivists them with, where they deal with files. We know they deal with files because not we call business that they didn't archivist their hand within we premises, within we office. All right? Now we look at them the company files and they will see say, but could people not be they comply? Then they do A, then they do B. Some man they send letter in writing, some man they type in your own. So we believe for come up with them form, then they for sure say, all man, once you're in a company, you share capital small, you share capital big, o, now the same way we they deal with everybody. Everybody important than the Corporate Affairs Commission. Not mm -hmm. by you share capital or by your name with the offer services. We they treat everybody the same. Once you come to we for give service, we they offer you service. We know one knows which on you come out. We know one know the title them. Just follow the procedure. If you can't understand the procedures, you call we or we helpline. Uh, um, you know, two four one two four one either zero seven eight or zero three zero. Within working hours, us in the answer you. Um, you can have the help the help desk. Us in the respond to you. You send email to we info at cac.gov.sl. Anybody they respond to you, including myself, based on waiting at the workload at that particular time. So we did there for give service to people them. So now when you don't send all them for me away now the step two, all you they do to you can do together, right? The last one are for pay we. You know they pay with corporate affairs, but rather you they pay the, the government of Sierra Leone through the corporate affairs. Mm -hmm. and, and for family the knowledge, we know they keep government money, they go to the single treasury. So not you know they can't we. All right. Now we know they take physical, we know they take more, we start to know they receive money from customers. You they either pay via mobile money payment or you do bank transfer. For obvious reasons, we know I know Kukujumuku business for let it take place. Okay, the one make it easy for somebody where you can sit down at your office, you go sit down at your office, you go to any site, you get access to internet, you do able for you know, follow the processes, able for pay you money, and with the process within 24 hours. Maybe later in the program, if I get time, I will explain the difference between we processes and the way where the World Bank in the look right. But follow we achieve what we achieve, so not to corporate affairs one green. Mm. You know, sometimes you get for no other like stakeholder then for no, other you get for work with for push salon business go before. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't know, pass that stage where all man they sit down, they work in silos and think say nami sabi nami kinduam. It's not possible. Nobody you not know, get monopoly over knowledge. Sure. You get for work with other people. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We approach NRA, the National Revenue Authority. Mm -hmm. We approach NASIT, we in Security Insurance Trust Fund. We approach Freetown City Council. We say to them, okay, when a critical now this process here. Points now they for let person they can't we he can give you information for incorporation. He come up back, he go to owner, he go give the same information for getting number. He mm -hmm. come up back, he go to, to NASIT, he go give the same information for NASIT. Then he come up back, he go free town city council, he go give the same information for go get license. I say okay. Law we act as owner agent. We all are government entities. Law we act as an agent. So we sign MOU. So right now, corporate affairs get MOU with NASIT, we get MOU with NRA. And I say challenges not the old, challenges then they. Well, because we'll, we'll, get, the, we'll, get, we'll get onto that, definitely. Sorry. Because yeah. of the initiatives they have, when you complete them form then they, there's a particular form where we call form AA. That form AA is a combined form. That means any information where you write the, your company name, your company address, who are your company secretary? Who are your shareholders? Them? Who are your directors? Them? Waiting here for be you, you estimated turnover. Waiting here for be your estimated number of employees and how much you get for pay them. That information day, we they receive them for corporate affairs. We they send them through a backend service where we receive them today. 
with the process. We the send out to NACIT, we the send out to NRA for make them generate the NACIT and T numbers respectively. Then, then they send them back to we. So within 24 hours, when you come back the next day, you get your certificate of incorporation from we, you get your certificate of registration, you get your NACIT number, you get your T number, you also get a six months license free authorization from Freetown City Council. What in that mean? It means say uh, you get six months for set up your business before you begin pay municipality license to Freetown City Council. All of the initiative they are, I mean for streamline the process of incorporation and make it easy for we farm with them. We will not tire for the year history. People get for fly come America for car for car set up company. Then they say still you go go back you know get a company set up people go write people go call nobody you know they respond so we don't move come up from that side mm. sometimes with generation of the teen and acid number it is slow because maybe of the volumes we didn't get and really we not get control over how nasit and NRA really work but because of the cordial relationship where we don't build and then some don't understand say everything we do as entities and not only they reflect on with people in Naya, but internationally, it affects with image and with brand. So everybody don't get that idea, at least with we partners, the who they work with. So the efforts, they continue, it is work in progress. But could thing that we're going to do for improve, but for now, that's what I don't explain. So three-step process, now you do go through for set up a company. And we'll do it within 24 hours. And just like confirm, time they begin on where we receive the documents. Not so from the day where you can make inquiry because some people can send messages say, Bo, when I send at 24 hours, I don't count today, I don't do this, I don't count tomorrow, yeah, the next day, I don't, don't do this. We can get for tell them, say, you get for provide complete documentation to me, including valid IDs of your shareholders and your directors. Because under the law, somebody when they below the age of 18 can't serve as a director. Obvious reasons you get for make critical decisions for the company, you get for make business decisions, financial decisions, strategic thinking. So, yes, we know say we young people and get plenty sense, but according to the law right now, you get for the age of 18 for sit as a director at any company. Right. Same thing with the shareholder, mm -hmm. you get for the you know 18 years and above for making who they own shares, yeah, because you know, but Kutel will be together with. Mm -hmm politically exposed people so we then can put some tens on two year old picking and they, they put as direct on some company and then right, 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 right. the ID for me we really know waiting at your age and then you know you go complete form for say okay you're not bankrupt you fit for for discharge your duties as a as a director when a simple form them like mm -hmm. as you this time, what you say when I show the website very simple yeah, forms we, we share the website. Um, and again one of the easy ways to make could begin make people and they use them from the day now for get into the habit of getting a structure for the submit information to we. Because mm -hmm. by next year, instead of downloading those forms and completing them, God yeah. willing, people then would they do infills, like how normally you complete visa application. So you're not going for the send them form the day. How you defeating the information at the site? Now, so it will be automatically verified and then it will go straight into reporter. So the process right. will even be shorter. Mm -hmm. But now they know to now, for now, on again for BR with me for the download them forms, then they now try we save the try. We they work yeah. very hard for make we do the one the way we is supposed for be. So in a nutshell, not so with the incorporate um, companies then now right. necessarily. Thank you very much. Um, very exhaustive. Um, of course, we there are a lot of questions to ask uh, out of a long, well, very good because you summarize a web all for the purpose because it's not an educative program. And again, some people that they will hear some terms that we don't know. Lou just clarify something and that Com Corporate Affairs Commission, the only uh, sort of uh, registered company. So basically, we there are different types of businesses. So perhaps we will ask Michaela later again. Uh, we get sole proprietors when a one-man business. We like you know you want to sell granites and stuff like that. Uh, you want to make make shoe repair shoes. Now you want a dwarf sole proprietors and all the color sole trader. Then we get partnerships. Uh, we mm -hmm. our two friends who come together and just make an agreement and become partners. But we get companies. Companies now legal persons. We call a legal entity basically. 
a company different from, you know, so you could form a company, you call um, Michaela Limited, but that company, they can sue you or you back, you back to the company. So in law, if Michaela is a law person, who confirms say the company is separate from you. So basically, the Corporate Affairs Commission, if I'm not mistaken, Michaela would throw light, not only for um, companies, not for yes. sole trader, not for partnership. Michael, am I right? Yes, you, you're very correct. Doc, what, for hire you because you look understand this thing, but no one will pay you no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're very right. We only look at companies. There's another office, another agency, a sister agency. We work with them remotely, but we work not connected. All right. right, right. And they do sole proprietorship and partnership. Right. You also get what you call cooperatives where they self a legal yeah. entity. Yeah. Then they register them now the cooperative units where they now the Ministry of Trade. Then they now like a group of people that we can come together, then get common interests, sometimes then are farmers, then decide say we come together, we form a cooperative for either for we be groundnut production or something like that. And then they self now other, you know, um itself gets an illegal entity that one. But you're right, because now with yeah. companies. Now you're able to see the company itself has a legal status yeah. and then you're able to separate the assets of the company from that of your personal assets. Then like Precisely. you said, right, you're able to sue and be sued but as a company and not in your personal capacity. Fantastic. So uh, with Michael and Blessing, we will bring maybe the heads of the, because we get some of the people that we perhaps are sole traders with a one-man business, they want to register for register and also cooperatives, like I just say. But with your Blessing, perhaps we will bring those people on board so we get the case to people then, maybe know. The more we know, the more knowledge we will become, the less stress on our assets and on our work, you know. But I think because of this transformation what you do, I think mm -hmm. this has reflected into re rating. So, what I want the um, technical team do is to bring out the slides on the ease of doing business. The ease of doing business at the World Bank, at the, if I'm not mistaken, is a World Bank rate rating um, of, of countries. And and mm -hmm. we got good news. 2020 is already not there. You know, Michaela, we're going to spill the beans. So maybe, you know, let people that know, say, this is what we need to do. It really reflects. Now, ease of doing business, not just basically for people that way they listen, maybe you know one of your readers, not just how easy it is for do business, for open business as well. So like what you might be explain. So, you know, in those days it was very difficult. It's five thousand pounds or dollars, uh, that's expensive. But now, you know, so that's ease of doing business. Now, if you look at the first diagram we're gonna see right now, the population of Salon, we don't, we don't, we don't have a small, small, we have about 7.6 million, roughly. We don't go small, small to 8 million just now. Uh, but this is like Duam na, 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 na free town. So, like, I think some of the statistics be purely free town. But I only do to go to the second slides, please, the technical team. Uh, let me see the slides. Now, this is very, very important because um as of last year will be they will be they actually um no mistaken my color will correct me 60 something or maybe 70 something will be there so instead of because the ease of doing business get different sec sections i like on the c the first section on the c and i'm starting a business you know if you want to start a business for instance would not a procedure we involve i will show another element there as we go down but but the first section on the c right now with a 58 and we don't drop down significantly and the reason why that happened, perhaps partially, or not even 100%, will be as a result of the reforms the way my calendar explained. Because whatever um, my calendar talk about, are things that we, 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 we like, don't pick up in the data, we don't reflect it, we don't go down. So now, good news, and we want to say thank you for the good work. And I'm sure the next time we will come, hold this kind of meeting, we will be number one by God in power. This number will come from 58 to number one. I know it's a huge tax. No pressure, uh, but you see other elements like uh, dealing with construction permits. Uh, we are 181 and getting electricity. This are not an area that the way Michaela actually they cover at all. Not an area that this like it's not it's not your problem, Andy. I forget electricity, for instance, registry property. Not on Michaela in your area, Andy. So you know, I just going to focus on the area when I start this business. Another me going to focus on and protecting minority investors. Perhaps Michaela will touch that. Yeah. And, and yeah. also pay taxes than an NRA, but I like the approach of my color they use. It already from because it's like NRA as key stakeholders. So they are working in, in partnership already and trading across borders. Perhaps my color will get advice, but I'm sure I'm sure of trade. I'm not sure if that's the right body. Enforcing contracts, 
and resolving insolvency. Now, like when you go, one go bankrupt, for instance, or maybe your business one, 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 one die, let's say, because like, when you born, you will die one day by going, I'm not, not by going for not another design. But let's look at this other diagram. Please, technical team, go to the next. Um, so we can see my color in work, we don't do really. And 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 starting a business, um, now the section this way I really want to work at. Now, in terms of procedures, now only five steps is the say for men, now five steps. Um, then uh, sub Sahara Africa, by the way, not just compare them. In sub Sahara Africa, we'll find we said now seven point four. So we do very well, basically. We do very well compared to the area we'll be. And also the o o OECD high income areas. Now four point nine, so oh, we did do well basically. Uh, that's why it is. and the most, the best performing countries like UK, for instance, not only one or two. Recently, even like four days ago, I opened a business, uh, Naya headquarters, Naya, and it took me. I, I, I sent out on Sunday, by Monday, everything. I don't get all my paperwork. Done. So best countries, they perform one and two, and that's exactly where we want to go. Time in terms of men, uh, eight days is a cost. Cost uh, of income cap per capita is a 7.6. Uh, the procedure for women is five. The time for women is eight. So basically, if you look at the charts and you compare it to Sub-Saharan Africa, I wish I would present again the data for maybe we can get the data already for last year. You will see it would all reduce significantly. This is not good news. Why not good news? Because it should say in order to stress for again for do business in a salon. So we want to congratulate. Uh, Michaela for this huge work. I know that there's a lot of work to be done, but perhaps Ingo Rob much more on how they manage bring this figure down to whatever number it was last week, last year to this year, and also what are some of the things that we're able to do specifically for effect this this graph. So over to you, Michaela, and congratulations. Okay, thank you very much, um, Doc. But I get for say congratulations to my team. You know, because it's one thing to be head of an institution, but you're leading people. And once they understand the vision you want to achieve, and they're all on board, in fact, in half you work because it's all hands on deck. So, Matt, take this opportunity for say thank you to the eleven man team where I get now eleven wow. people we get a corporate affairs commission. Unlike some institutions, we get one hundred, but you know even the kind of impact we they make. That's another topic for another day. So we get an 11 man team with five interns and two archivists where they work with we. Now, now we, you know, they work with NRA and NASIT and Freetown City Council for they make them improvements in a year. Now, as you mentioned, we get 10 indicators where the bank they assess we on, along with other economies on a yearly basis, 190 economies in total. Then there's another indicator where they collect data on then they assess we, although not they get the rank, and that's employing workers with processes for who we they employ workers and all that the flexibility, the kind of regulations, the way they and the redundancy cost. Then they look at that as well. Now, Corporate Affairs Commission, although we're so small, we get two indicators where we the champion, and that is start a business, and the other one will be called protecting minority investors. Yeah. And if time permits, I will explain them in detail. Please, sir. Now, the start a business indicator, when we opened with doors to the public in January 2016, that indicator ranked 99 out of 190, 189 economies because that's in the South Sudan, no, we don't, no, we don't come in it. So that year, it was 189 economies. We ranked 99. So we had a lot of work to do. But it's just like where you go to school, where you do some subject in our school, you get for study. They're not only for study, you get to understand how the teacher they mark, what in a method, what did they look for, and for make sure, see, you work towards that. But not so much for the purpose of just improve your rank. You get for make sure, see, you people and they feel the difference in the impact the market. People and they left your office, then they smile and happy because the process is very transparent, because you know, they strain them, but could be your cast in all day, God run all day. Where you people are happy, you know, say you do your work. Now, the start a business indicator, which you make we improve in ranking, couple of things where we do. First of all, when we start, we find out say the cost of doing business in Sierra Leone was very high because at that time, the fee for incorporation, if, if they mean tie them to the share capital of the company. So, which means, 
if the company they can incorporate any say for instance in share capital now a hundred million we now the aid money where they put now the company then they calculate your fee for registration based on that share capital so we see that we look at this and say okay whether you the incorporate company with 100 million share capital or you the incorporate company with 10,000 you the process is the same yeah, yeah. you know the other work you don't need extra manpower you know therefore use extra man hours the process is the same from start to finish so you will find out say now one of the reasons that we make before we open the doors to the public we make sure so we pass the company regulations 2014 and if you look at schedule two of that regulation they all in our website on the documents it did it it tells you the fee what would they charge for everything what would they do so you know they can't they meet one price you can't tomorrow you meet one price then the beauty of it is we decide say okay technology is the way to go then they in also in optional now we get for go whether we people learn book or we people they know learn book all man get for learn for use this tv and computer or any kind of digital device mm -hmm. so what we do for encourage people then for make them to use with facilities if you look at the the company regulations 2014 schedule two because schedule one are the forms them schedule are the fees you the system we get two column pricing one now if you submit electronically the other one if you submit manual process not to for say we know one see with customers they want see them in face in fine we can gladly for smile to them but we want to encourage people for the use easy means for the get with service so if you send a resolution electronically, that means via email, you will pay slightly less than if you call it at the office. Because that can really call it at the office, it requires somebody's physical presence. Mm. Somebody get for now scan that document or upload on our ERP, you know, the, the system will really keep the information. But when you send a soft copy, you don't make life easy for we now for just copy and paste them and the company a, a, a folder. We fine. All right. Mm -hmm. So we streamline them processes. So the fees when I be the cost will be high. We make a flat rate. So now if you the register company in a Sierra Leone, I like you share capital na one billion leon. If you share capital na ten million leon, we they pay two hundred and fifty thousand leon a flat fee. But please let me fumble the note that fee na the fee payable to the corporate affairs commission as the administrative charge. If you seek the services of a comp company sector firm or a legal firm for do you paperwork for you, we know they determine the professional fees when they charge, just so we clear on that. Because we don't get instances where people they go to a lawyer for do them paper, where the lawyer then charge, you say nothing, but corporate affairs say not 250. The right. 250 now the administrative charge, we already prescribed now the company regulations of 20. All right, in order for yeah. professional, but the process so simple that really, if you take forty-five minutes of your time, you see, do you paperwork because now you investment that you own company, so sure. you need for the thing they go inside. You don't need for use person. You can able to do it yeah. yourself. But if you are use person again, you will not get any problem with that as long as you make sure see the person know what he did do. Mm -hmm. So one of the reform was to cut down the price. So the price now not just two hundred and fifty thousand leos. So automatically, it reduced drastically the cost element of it. Because the bank looks at the processes, the time, and the cost, and what is called paid in minimum capital. The good news is, Sarah, you're not get paid in minimum capital. So that are one is Ghana, that's a business indicator. Because Ghana, you get for pay upfront certain amount of that money they physically produce up. We, all you do, according to own law, you do a declaration for, say, 25% of the share capital has been paid up. Hmm. Whether you physically pay now, you know, physically pay now, not so we own concern that once we don't receive the declaration, you don't meet we own conditions. So it hmm. left to the investors where they work with for really determine if indeed you get the amount they, in terms of your investment. Yeah. Okay. And the process will be mentioned earlier. So one would not use the cost. Then the process will be mentioned earlier. Say we stop people and for the one 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 to different office for they give the same information. Because one thing the bank does, 
every desk, more or less, literally every desk is a step. And every step is a day, sometimes two days. So if they get for account to corporate affairs and submit information for incorporates the company, then at the same um, voice or the same token, they get for go to NRA and submit the same information is counted again as another process, another day. If they get for go to NASIT, it's counted as another process, another day. So that that's make even up till now, the bank actually reports um, five steps, but eight days for start a business in Sierra Leone. Right. We don't challenge them on this and trust me where i say we don't challenge them we don't challenge them on this but let me tell you how it works now when you implement these reforms the banks give you the bank they give you an opportunity for submit your reforms the way you don't implement and of course the ministry of trade and the lead ministry when it comes to you know supervising doing business in Sierra Leone. so all the indicators they are with the reports through trade report to the bank via ministry of trade so with the state force as an entity comes the way we don't put together for that reporting cycle <coughs> then the bank it is shelf that information then they send out surveys these surveys go out in january so this january where they come the survey then they go out when they ask people um, any changes they are the process how now they pay who down are they pay to <coughs> So based on how people respond to these surveys, if what the respondents are saying, they correspond to what you don't put forward, and that actually make an impact into TAPFA as the time, the processes, and the cost done, then it is considered a major reform, yeah. and it's okay. counted. Mm -hmm. But because they count them, no means say you rank, they go up. Because remember, it's 190 economies. So everybody is running a race. Sorry, so competition. You could, running, you could be running with all your strength and might, mm -hmm. but others could be running faster than you. All right. So if others and they run faster than you, it possible say then your ranking will go up and you will either maintain your position or your ranking, you know, it will go down based right. on how everybody else they do <clears throat> okay so now we don't change the cost we don't change the procedure and obviously it, it affects the time but like i said although in practical sense we incorporate in 24 hours because of all the respondents and they send information on their surveys the bank they still report eight days for sierra leone <coughs> sorry but let's take fumble and through this been a very interesting thing for instance the bank they tell you say for sierra leone for check the name, where we don't mention earlier, I say for check the name no more, now one day. All right? Mm -hmm. Then it say as step two, for the company. Hmm? So it don't mm -hmm. take check name check as one. Yeah. Now for register the company. Now three days. Hmm? This right. is what the bank okay. reports. All right? Mm -hmm. Then it say for pay the registration fee now another day. Which is not you see how, see how they for Sierra Leone? We're not, right. not definitely not reflective of the fact, right. but this is how it is reported by the bank. Right. Then now, they say forget your employee's social security number na another day. Remember, I don't explain to Ona say we no, get no integrate, no, no integrate, no, no integrate. So yeah. you don't get combined process where within 24 yeah. hours, NRA they generate T number, mm -hmm. NASIT mm -hmm. generates NASIT number. But they say no, no, no. It's still separate in their eyes. And I'll tell you why it's still why then they still see and separate. We'll come to that. Then they now get a fifth step where they call making a company seal. And then say two days for make company seal. Okay. Now, unfortunately for Sierra Leone, we still get historical data in the bank's assessments. What do I mean by that? Years ago, before we do the amendment under the Companies Act, there's a particular section, section 23, we could tell you what and waiting company need for do for register. One of the provisions there had um, for say, a company's memorandum and articles of association for be sealed as if it were a deed, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, when they say for seal the deed, for seal document, now we can go give them that stamp. All right. Even though we have repealed that section, if you look at the Companies Act, Amendments Act of 2014, you will see, say, that section D, 
he repealed that in all day again from right. 2014. Mm. We still defect with the bank for take her off this reassessment. Now, interestingly, although they have accepted in theory that yes, when I don't amend that section, but what, what is done, what they do, then they move the goalpost. All right. So which means we all don't fit, we don't achieve this next year. And so now it's for me. Then they move the goalpost because they want but, but, but again, uh, why why is this? Sorry for interrupting. Why why do you think this is happening? Well, because they they think there's, there's always room at the top. They want countries to do their best all the time. Just achieving mm. A is not enough. You have to do you have to do more. You always have to do more. Make the process mm. literally let us in, you know, you're not straight again at all. Just make the process mm. as easy, as simple as, can. as mm. one, two, three. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So now they have moved the goalpost further. So what are they saying to us? They're saying, okay, we agree on Nado repeal. Now the M and A no get for be sealed. As if it were a deed, but after the company is incorporated, there are contracts that the company is entering to, and sometimes if these contracts are for international parties or stakeholders, they have to be sealed. Mm -hmm. So, because somewhere along the line, on a still there for sealing documents, day we they put two days for make that seal. Now they actually describe them, they say the seal not an impression which they make on the document. You can either use wooden block or rubber block. And then he said you two days for make that rubber block. Okay, Just to let's for take say we get for make this rubber block what we they use for seal. Mm -hmm. All man no see you go on the streets, you go over four streets. If you want for make that stamp day, it need take two days. Yeah, sure. All right. But mm -hmm. the bank did it two days. So now follow with family understand why we still the beginning. The other points. No, the, the message I think the message of clear. Um thank you very much. Uh, um yeah, I know the message don't go. And uh, of course the key things that were just summarized is that one of the things I want to do and not reduce the fees. I think that was really exorbitant for say if somebody yeah. they start business with hundred million, you charge you charge as per the share capital they had money. That's got to take off and the procedure relatively very straightforward. But let's go to uh, for, for for those joining us, please uh, note that this is the Victor's Business Show and uh, on VOS, and we get this CEO of Corporate Affairs Commission, um, is um, Michaela um, um, Mackey, and it is talked through sort of uh, the ease of doing business and the achievements that we would all do right now. In fact, World Bank of Rank has. Uh, they don't really we don't come down at the ranking where well, we don't do good at the ranking. But let me go to our Facebook page because a lot of bit have been a lot of comments coming through, and and I'm sure um, there are some questions. So let me start with uh, I'm not sure technical team. Can you start from the beginning, please, uh, so that we can? All right, Bendu camera say hello viewers. Okay, and hello Bendu. Hello, say hello. Uh, just a bit better. My mom says hello viewers. Family, hello mom. And how are you, Zainab Bangura? Uh, S2 Fidels, okay, I'm seeing a lot in this week, let me serve you, and of course, let's go down, uh, a design up, welcome, welcome, thanks for watching, and, and also, uh, Daphne Pratt say women empowering, I think they were referring to your inspiring story that you gave earlier, and as Alaji Jalo says, the Iron Lady, <laughs> so I think you get a nickname there, um, and also, and an impressive CV you've got, you've got it. So I think you were able to express people. They are very inspiring. Hello, house. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going to the questions. Um, hello, viewers. Okay, we have a lot of people watching. Thank you very much. Tijan Kuruma has a question. Uh, well, comment says, how I wish is as seamless as Madam Mackey is presenting it. Unnecessary bureaucracy and bottlenecks uh, in registering business, not to measure to uh, irritating customer service attitude of staff. So there's been some um, some some sort of concern here about the bureaucracy there. Of course, that's something we will touch on later. Not so let's say the staff are not according to this particular um, viewer. Uh, we, we recent viewers say the custom they staff and they a bit not get customer service. Now also. Uh, how about super um helen better say good job well done dr better okay thank you that's my sister david mcjah says great hero just saw that my company name has been corrected 
I uh, think, I don't know if it's again, David Mikja referring. So he say you are doing more than the normal. I personally believe you could be president with Auditor General and Vice President <laughs> and Asma James, a Speaker of Parliament. Already they don't begin to form Parliament. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know with the leader revolution, this is, a, this is a female, you know, revolution. I'll be, I'll be in for it. Call me, I will go campaign for you. And and is Zainab Bangura, one of my number one fans, says, Dr. Bete, clap for me. Uh, I'll take him. He said, clap for me. Sir. Thank you very much. Uh, he says, I registered my business in 2010, and it took me more than two weeks than under your leadership. I did my corporate registration in 24 hours. Here in Nigeria, our company registration took three weeks. So that's, that's a huge comment from David McJow. And also, <laughs> camera say, 11 hardworking people is better than 100 belefu. <laughs> so this guy is referring to your team. Your team is 11, and we have people having 100, but that's the inefficient. Uh, Matilda J. Cole says, the network system is poor in Sierra Leone. So how, how do you get people to upload big? This is a very good issue, very good question. Mm -hmm. Big five is true. So please uh, that comment and we will we comment on. And David McGar also says, CSC should also be agile on social media to engage the public. I, I, agree, I agree with this. To educate ed on how to know companies that are registered. So basically, they try to propose even for really get a strong social media presence. If now I hire me as a consultant, I'll be here to do that. <laughs> Kidding, by the way. Um, also, Abraham C. say, can I register a business if I am outside of Sierra Leone? Uh, that's a question for you. Okay. Um, okay. So those are the questions so far. So your responses to this comment, concerns, and uh, questions. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Doc. First, I want to tell Pamul and thank you for taking time for joining the program and at least for express them their concerns. And they want that we don't compliment we we say thank you. But um, I first they want to put out an apology to the customer. We say um, you know, we've been fine with staff the eighteen and you know being satisfied. You know, on behalf of the staff, I don't know what the situation is, but I must apologize. Um. Um, because no customer not supposed for the left with office is not satisfied because it means say at that time you were served something went wrong either time was not afforded for you to be understood or you know you don't get the suitable response we need so I apologize but um, I don't know how long this has been but I'm going to encourage you really if you're able to send me an email to info at csc.gov.sl and explain the circumstances and in case you know the staff where you've been dealing with at that time please um you know make we know the information because it will help we a better place we were able to address issues having said that um i must say sometimes it can challenging for the staff them i know they defend them but you know when you get a small team where they serve quite a lot of people there are times they can they can lose you know patience and at times you know if you especially if you say the same all the time you will turn off or say I'm with the same kind of friendliness and with the smile where you supposed for so what we can do is try for expose the staff and regularly to training so as recent as three weeks ago we get all the people that are compliance units for go do customer service training because you know what would they do work like this you never assume you know it all there are always different methods different approaches where we get for the use for with customers so we can send and go training and then when they come then safe cable for taking other people away they don't get the opportunity to go so i want for again say i'm truly sorry for that and if now something we have been aware of rest assured it would have been addressed but i really hope whatever the issue is it has been handled if not i'm encouraging you for send an email to me info at cac.gov.sl and i will look at them okay now um uh custom uh, uh caller or text i mentioned say the network system for us so how will they upload well now that's now one of the challenges that we make till now we not go live with the new website because we do have the enhanced website that is back end we the cm but then they not open it to the public because we get for make sure say where we go live on that one day for instance if somebody they do in in, in fields if light cuts you know they lost all the information if they're able for work offline for instance then when it, it don't done it don't completely able for submit an hour and we serve with systems they're able for receive all their information so there's a lot of technical you know um checks the way they go on right now before make sure say 
and we 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 infuse them. You know everything that the, the functional they, they form they work well. The search engine and all of that. So now that one are one of the constraints we don't get, including the payment platform, electronic payment platform, where we they try for add on to that one day, so that person will be using credit or debit card for make payments. You know instead of the bank transfer. And um, the social media engagement, yes, um, that's something we will definitely look into. Um, for see how we go able to make the team they push information quite a bit on the social media. Um, but then again, because most of the customers then they local, we can tend for either they push with information and through radio programs, they break and down in the old account, they do so now, so we family and we able to understand. But I don't take note of that comment today and um, rest assured, say we will try for doing level best for improve with social media visibility. Now, um, Ibrahim, they asked me whether it can incorporate from outside Sierra Leone. Yes, you can. Um, it's just that, um, like I mentioned earlier, the infills, they're not active right now. So you go for download them forms, then they complete them and scan them. We they receive scan copies as long as eligible, we're able for read them. And you send we scan copies of your of valid ID of either the shareholder of the directors. We they incorporate them. Um, certificate and send them back to you so if you if you if you wish give me instructions we can give them to the certificate to somebody where you did not turn here or whenever you can at all you can actually pick up the physical copy but we can do a scan copy and we will for send them to you so um then thank you again to we family we don't come in before we work what we did do but let us say um we did do what we're supposed for do yeah. bottom line we need to do anything extraordinary right now so right. What big servants then for work? There's a reason why they call we servants, you know, and probably because we serve everybody, regardless of yeah. what side they. Once you enter to service system, they we supposed yeah. for the given service. So now the sacrifice and this we serve they make as a and them. And and, and them. well done, well done for the sacrifice. I know you say even we in our public servants, if they do things very very good for the country and meet this year through the ranking as well. And although there's lots to, do, to be done, uh, like you always have to acknowledge, um, or we say thank you to you as well. But it's, it's the same comments coming from uh, one of we um, uh, listeners as well, William Conte. It says, the status of the online platform. Can I register online? I think you just touched on already. How efficient is that process? If you can register how efficient it is in terms of your ranking, then for instance, the time it takes and the cost. You know, then it also says that staff support is inadequate, uh, should be monitored and improved. So perhaps, you might be doing very well, but I don't want like how you say no more apologies on the behalf. But I think again, you can continue training customers. I, this is not, by the way, this is not just a problem. This is a salon problem. You know, I think we get a caller, Michaela. Let me just call her. Good evening. And um, how are you? Uh, where are you calling from? And what's your contribution or questions, please? Doctor, good evening. So um, I recall from Nigeria. This is David Jar. Ah, okay, David. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, um, I try for uh, give some um, contributions then, because yeah. the corporate affairs are the gateway to to the economy inside Sierra Leone, and mm -hmm. I just I just don't know why they get about seven, <laughs> eleven people then with the work, but then very efficient. The more efficient than any institution we don't come across you know, inside Sierra Leone. And right. so one of the things that we are one for, um, suppose, is that let them begin work with the embassies and um, the Sierra Leone embassies in each country so that people go able for the do um, um, registration from their embassy, and if possible, if mm. they get the legal and, 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 and able for putting the structures, then I want. Two, yeah. also, if... Uh, one of the things that we get for determining the economy in growth now, the socioeconomic graph, when you talk about socioeconomic graph, you talk about the companies we register inside Sierra Leone, the locations and where they say they do operate, and the number of jobs and we are available for interlink the companies. Like, for instance, how many companies did Nabo, how many jobs did they provide in Nabo, mm. which in the mm. Um, skills were available in Abu for certain companies and they. So mm -hmm. that's another area where they can for going to. And then also, um, because of the digitization, um, also the capacity for able for maybe partner with the private sector for able for improve on connectivity and digitize some of the services in the provinces. So those three, mm -hmm. 
one for every for work with the embassies outside of Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone embassies outside of Sierra Leone for attract more businesses for coming to Sierra Leone and register through them. Two, even if they can get a desk, somebody with the another embassies in there. Two, then able for build a social economy graph for able for partner with educational institutions with companies that will register and the locations mm. them for able for new who side the jobs that they move inside Sierra Leone. Some of those things, some of us are willing to help. And then you also they talk about also digitization for able for be visible. I mean, maybe within each constituency or each district, and able for get the infrastructure for able for operate even remotely with that. Mm. I think say, that go able for move where economy forward because not the only institution where we don't go in the entire eighteen years where they do business alone where I don't give me document in twenty four hours I get results <laughs> for the money <laughs> where I pay. <laughs> And okay. as I said, they say, when I, when I fit take over the country legally, when I form party, when I do Monday, because when I do more, I think I think they try for. They just doing job like I do. See, as well as you see, also general, you see this woman, they are doing very well, and so <laughs> they are when I help you all move the country before. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. Well, but thank you very much, David. Uh, by the way, David, now na, na, we get some two weeks ago, and he's one of the very proficient Australians that are into the IT space. In case you want to connect, I can connect, and it would be a very, very good service for in commission. Well, I think, what's your response to it? I think it was good. Okay, very good. Um, David, thank you, thank you very much. And obviously, I will let for initiate contact with you and see how you're able to work with we, um, because for we, partnership is key, huh? For we able for make more more inroads, you know, and get more success stories, if you may. Now, with regards, interestingly, you mentioned the mem embassies. I Mr. Seth actually wrote right to Ministry of Foreign Affairs some time ago because we know I'm for begin work with the embassies in isolation. We wanted to work through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for send general community or information to all these embassies on the processes of registration how they never forget information for it just simple things i just wait i don't outline so now yeah waiting our contact number the website and all of that but it was at a time when there was a lot of changes taking place i know if i get response i followed up again i go in person and nothing will really come out of that but um, definitely, I will take that on board again for see how soon we can get that going. And um, with regards the the data, yes, there's more we can do. But to be honest with you, the volume of work, the work is plenty for the number of officers we will get. Okay, we get another caller on the line, uh, Miss McKay. Let's just take this call quickly. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, we will continue with that. Caller, good evening. Yeah. And uh, this is viewers, uh, the Victor's Business Show viewers. Where are you calling from and what is your name? Yes, good evening. This is now Bendu from Kansas City, Dr. Bete. Welcome. Thank you for the program. Due to my work schedule, and I can listen, I can watch your program, but I not ever done the live on your program. But I want right. to thank you for the good job we did do. Miss McKay, I man. tell you plenty, plenty thank you. Just listening to you on this platform, it makes us feel like we'll say at the talk or are they engaged with uh, 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 a process within the West? I tell you, thank you for the transparency. I wish, say, all the other institutions then will follow suit and, and emulate what they put out there. Because when the public know what is their responsibility, it makes it very easy. For example, I will give you one bottleneck area in that country, they will, they will become a problem. Nah, nah, the water key. Nobody don't know the process. There is no transparency. Mm -hmm. Everybody get a own different cost, price, and everything. There is nothing where they were written on stone where you get for follow as a blueprint. So with your own institution, maybe they will follow suit and see what you they do and make people they understand out there waiting at the procedure we for follow. I tell you plenty, thank you. I wish everybody else, every institution will follow suit. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much, Vindu. That was really good, encouraging. Thank you for your time and for listening. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, Ms. Baki, over to you. You got okay, two thank comments you from very the much. Thank you for very much, my very comments, very humbling, and we pray say God help you for me to continue for do the good work what they do for serve the people and the, you know, not, not the country. And but that's again continue on waiting. Um David be mentioned earlier. Yes, we get we get data.
Um, but again, like I say, sometimes the volume, we know they really able for manage the volume. That is just the honest truth. Sometimes it can get so bad. I mean, I get hands on, like you kind of office sometimes, you know, you know, self and the register because we all live and you know, you, you can't just let things because you see, we're in one of the institutions that we, we processes then timed. Even if you kind of your office, you look at the side of the wall, it will tell you company corporation in 24 hours, certified two copies in one hour with Fodomaker available. You know, if we do transfer of shares, five days no longer than seven days with Fodomaker I'm available. But sometimes because of the volumes and we don't have the manpower and all we processes, they're not digitized, we can get constrained. We don't write for Ministry of Finance. We don't engage them since 2016. For me, they allow it for increase we we manpower and this is some of the frustrating things we can get because other institutions are recruiting and the question is if we are doing what we're doing with the little manpower if we not allow we forget the the, the manpower we need what wouldn't we do but it's always okay yes it's approved but you're on hold it's yes it's approved but you're on hold yet still other institutions are recruiting up to just last week i could tell you it's a, a conversation where i don't start again with the ministry of finance but i'm really happy that you know we're being heard this time round you know the ministry of finance the minister himself the financial secretary then they listen to it and they hear and really then they make effort for try for for me to need them so fingers crossed by january we were able for begin for get we we demand power we need we already don't engage with the national youth service um commission because right now they, they begin for recruit um youths then waiting for being the assigned to mdas for the help with work so now one day we do actually request for five yes. data, data um, um um processors or data entry staff because information we get a lot of it is still in in hard copy yeah. So you need people for the work for, on for them. Digitize. Yeah. Get industrial scanners where they scan 60 pages in a minute. Okay, yeah. not character recognition, not day yet, but at least we're starting somewhere. So everything at the moment is scanned via PDF and everything with the store I'm now we now we database. But a lot of historicals that we need for keep. You know, we can't just burn them, file the day, take them, go go burn and na, na, na bomb. No, you get for make sure so you save the information. You know, that company can come up sometime and say, I want for be restored. So if you don't go dispose of everything, then what do you do? So we get for keep that data day. And nobody in make it accessible because when we launch the new website, God willing, we do our next year. The plan is for every company to have a code or use their company number to access their own information. So okay. which means when you file documents with we in 30 minutes or in an hour, of course, you can make some room for low. We do certain verification. You suppose for sit down at your office, you're able to yeah. sit you know, with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Oh, okay, that's fine. Because the parties um, want I, for that information, they go before pay for them and access them. That's fine. Thank you very much for that. I just want to take a message from the Facebook page again for just make sure so we, we the follow with the silly gone. Uh, Ms. Bedu Kamara, I think the caller again said, Ms. Make, your professionalism is top notch. I hope all other institutions will follow suit, especially the reports. So, you know, you know, just comment a call back just for letting make sure that you read this. And good job. Um, by the way, thank you very much. I'd like camera say, I am really impressed with your guest, Mr. Better. Uh, I hope we have a lot of intelligent and well productive women like her in our country for a better salon. Uh, please integrate much vibrant women as possible for a great women for empowerment networking. I believe when you have a lot of women involved in developmental strides, you have one of the country. Keep on. This presidency, you need a fellow you swallow. <laughs> Matilda J. Cruz says, of, the, of, the, uh, of they have online, off, uh, of offline system access, why have the embassy involved in this? The work of the embassy is different, even though um, deal with the trade relations. Yeah, but I think what's in David to say, I understand the embassy, but because the embassy are the, are the face of the country, there's no, I don't think there's anything wrong for, for having an alliance with them, basically. I don't think, but well, thank you. That's a good, good contribution as well. And Ibrahim says, does the Corporate Affairs Commission provide legal service to the public? Now, my question that was actually because uh, I have somebody complaining because we served in, in, a, in the SME space, are they, are they empower people there. And what my preaching is all about getting people into business. But one of the things that they complain, one of the mentor, is that it's very costly to have a legal team, or maybe I think that they require for some legal. Uh, people that for either have an accountant, somebody SCR qualified, or a legal team. So it's asking the question: Do you, as a corporate affairs commission, offer legal services? And uh, perhaps let me just read this last question, then maybe you will answer. Um, 
Um, then William Conte say, many thanks for the great job, Michaela. Please keep improving the process, especially the online registration components, which is still not yet adequate because you don't talk already since next year it could be proper. But yes, I want you to respond to this idea of legal services. Can you do you offer any advice to especially small businesses? All right, just let us on quick on the online services, just for notes. We already the, the work with DSTI um, okay. for seeing how we will ensure, say, with the site very secure when we will get for go live with the new website. Because obviously, people then they send information into reporters directly. That security mm. they need for be assured. Right now, the existing site is just for information purposes. So, yeah, okay. even though it needs to be secured, it's not that critical. So, we're working on it and we're working with other agencies. Mm. Now, on the legal services. Okay. Even though I'm a lawyer, I'm not employed at Corporate Affairs Commission to offer legal services to anyone. First of all, an outside conflict. So you find out say, the way we process is then streamlined. First of all, if nine corporations say nobody not they see me, not because yeah. I don't want to see them, but these are very administrative processes. You know, need for always to go see the boss or go see the registrar for let you pay paperwork go through. Not to so if or be. Make yeah. the processes user friendly. So when person they come. If they do it work, if they don't, if they go. We only travel when they go abroad. How much person know who that own certain businesses abroad? Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. if they go, you get your service, you come out there, you go side, you go. Person tell with they see na TV. Some person the employee self don't know that I'm boss. Pass sure. maybe if they do some program, you can end up not saying I'm boss if they talk to. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is how the processes are. We would advise on the processes. We go advise on the procedures insofar as it is prescribed by the law or by the regulations, but as a registrar, meaning they do no personal work for person. Mm -hmm. And all they take money and nobody in an no office and a corporate affairs commission not supposed for offer any services outside of what we are required to do as a commission. And you're not supposed for take no money na person in an other than the stipulated fees. Mm -hmm. Now, but having said that, you get some people there. We go Canada office. Then go insist, say, certain people in the office for the do certain work claim for them. Then go even go to the extent for the offer. Even though we say this time and time again, time and time again, that way somebody did in a public service, you know, for pay and for do the work where governments they pay and for do already. If for did they forgive you service. Yes, the money is small. They know they pay we all within they're supposed to pay we. But when you know, say that money, you not do for you in a public service. Left day, go do your business on the side. Let people and go meet you. But you cannot be in a government premise. You don't use the resources for the do private work for people. You they take money in a people in hand for the do work where you're paid to do. Then the next time you say you're not possible, you not get integrity. Full stop. And mm -hmm. then I'm watching at the ring and my staff there, yes every day people see you people know you they know that they, they deal with since we opened our doors to the public i can tell you we've incorporated this from the 18th of january 2016 to close of business yesterday we don't incorporate 6850 new companies we don't right. register 1504 and we don't register 120 companies I could tell you that not one of them company they go tell you say now Miss Maki incorporates me company for me, and the reason being, I not there there for make money, I did there for make a difference, and this was my choice. You know, me a professional. If I left CAC today, I could even do far better for myself. But sometimes yeah. it's not about the money; it's about yeah. making a difference in your small space to show that it could be done. Once you maintain professionalism, you be consistent with what you're doing. You make sure say, your communication very clear. People understand the purpose of you being there. We could get there. We could do Definitely. that. So, so that makes that makes somebody say, sorry for interrupting interrupting you, but I make somebody say uh, you should be the president. Uh, well, pitch for president because this is like a presidential pitch. But this is what I stand for on a very serious note. Uh, did they pay you whatever peanuts they pay you? Uh, we only improve, but I think if they pay you for something and you work for them, then you should really work for it. I think we have another call on the line. I hope you get time and a few more time. We'll round up just now, but there's another call on the line. Caller, good evening. Uh, welcome to viewers at the Victor's Business Show. Uh, where are you calling from and what's your name, please? And your contribution or questions. Hey, this is my 
Ibrahim from California. How are you doing, sir? You know about Mr. Ibrahim? Yes, go ahead, sir. Yeah. Okay, um, I want to tell you guests, you know, plenty, plenty, thank you, uh, the registrar, mm -hmm. um, for we it come for come work this year done for we follow you able to understand because i mean now that's the majority of sierra leoneans then you know i mean almost every sierra leonean in one way or the other don't get their own kind of bad experience especially when it comes for registered in business you know mm -hmm. and uh me like now one of them mm. but um i'm so glad you able to make yourself available today and can talk to me how the corporate you know commission they run and um, so far i mean i really a fit for the position it qualify even more than qualify for this position because now na, that na kind you know mindset that we want now the system you know people they really come not if we for kind of the public and can explain to we how their own business is run, you know, the responsibilities and then duties na that particular job they we then get and mm. for serve the public. Yeah. You know. Uh I'll be, I'll be make I'll be make one comment just about uh, you, you know address that, that side they win uh, the if then they offer you know legal services. Online. Okay. But uh, it, yeah it able work and done for we and them um, because like within which I, I really appreciate when it's a you know conflict of interest because then in our end we can we can overlook and it happened plenty plenty but for let it come it just use that particular word say conflict of interest i get so much respect for them you know mm. because we we know they agree in our, in our common not to a common terminology that we that we domain you know mm. people like can do waiting and feel for do and that make most of the time the process need to go well you know the mm. abuse of process and other you know issues the way people and they get plenty plenty of time and that they stifle growth you know mm -hmm. and um government says for mostly look at the south we use now the west you do good just now you go register your business because what happen when you register the business the government and no say the government will say you must pay taxes mm -hmm. you know you pay when you pay that taxes, they it help the community for grow and they help the nation. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, and, and I I just want to ask the registrar, um, waiting at the mood of you know, educating the public, you know, as to waiting at the job and how important, you know, oh, not just um freedom, but all over the country. Mm -hmm. And then also we waiting at the diaspora, you know, waiting this office here and, and the, the importance of this office here to national development, you know, mm -hmm. that I want. And also, I want to know if, uh, if then gets, you know, kind of like an expedited process, you know, yeah, depending on the particular uh, business with the possible register, you know, if you require that, if then gets, you know, a provision for that, you know. Okay, so now that's there, fine. Now, there, now there areas in the, and then also, how do they work with the city council? You know, because um, like how the other uh, caller, I think Mr. Mick, been talk. If now free turn more than get office, if they don't get, if they don't get, if they get offices, then, you know, across mm. the country, like yeah. the provincial towns or things like that. You know, so somebody you know one come free to he want to register business, pass he can free to. But if mm -hmm. he can able to do, um, you know, na the closest, you know, area they can able to do and they, you know, so for like streamline the whole process. Okay. Now that's okay. a new contribution. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Ibrahim, thank you as always. Uh, we really appreciate your call. And um, yes, it will respond to those questions. And over to you. Thank you very much. And have a very good night. And keep watching, please. Uh, Ms. Mike, I, I think thank you get okay. three questions thank to you. Bad. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ibrahim. Um, now, in terms of educating the public, you know, we did try because I can tell you we don't even have a PR person. So most times you find I can get for go on air, I get for do radio programs, I get for do TV programs. 
Sometimes if we talk about, you know, how for file audited accounts, we can get to be finance manager for go. So literally what we have at corporate affairs are resource persons, people we can fit into, you know, any, any slot at any time based on the need. But we they try. So we don't take note of your concerns for able for try for improve uh, or take, get information out in the public more. But uh, an earlier text that we don't mention using the social media social more. Media. So we yeah. will look into that um, strategy. With regards to Freetown City Council, they are a partner. We they work with them already. Um, so there's a letter that is already signed off by the chief administrator. We as and when we they incorporate, we they write the name of the company and the company number in that letter and issue it to the business, basically for say, you're now registered, you can set up your business and you have a six months license free authorization within which you for set up that business day before you get for pay a municipality um fees. But we they look into how we they tighten their relationship and they how we they bring on board um other stakeholders. Because one of the challenges um the moment the public system we they all work in silos, all man they get different information. Mm -hmm. Because they know the system not for how they check and how they verify. But right mm -hmm. now, especially because we try for drive electronic process and coming to the the we presence in the provinces. One of the reasons why we shy away from just open office now na the provinces because we don't see that they don't they happen. Institutionally, that's the open office, put BB poster for say no more. Oh, yes, BB office. They nobody know they ever inside the office, then they they never there to offer services to the people. So we look and say, okay, no, we not just open offices for the sake of it. Do we they watch and see which you know, the trend, which tongue the way we require we presence more based on the incorporation. So we already done the discuss. For instance, we don't see Sebo and Kenema. They get a lot of people away they can get for either use with online service or they can have return for can register. But what do we do now? We not just go open office. We already don't they engage other institutions. We get physical presence at their location in the, for know if they get rooms or space where they know they use. Because that is also saving yeah. government resources. You no know, make sense we gap now we go take 10 million or 20 million leon building we go put bb corporate affairs poster we mm -hmm. something i want to whom we they use inside it so we already they discuss with slipper because they get presence that inside the day and they get rooms that we didn't know they use they already get existing this agreement so that we will now share the cost of that premise day. so if you may have a cost government 20 20 million for leon manga in your office now we two institutions go pay the 20 million corporate affairs paying 10 sleeper paint and this is just an indication so what will look at now office sharing for mm. every rollout but at the same time because we try for drive electronic processes we not just want for add overheads now the commission mm. then we find out say they, we know they know they utilize them you know to the fullest so we they really look at which we trends we look at records and see but we definitely they go into office sharing space and then we will improve on we, we online visibility for get more people there for use with services. Right. I think it's a very good idea, the office sharing space thing, because the uh, same question I will ask you, because even with this uh, World Bank statistics, it was just uh, the one based on Freetown. So they're not really go to the provinces. I'm sure if they went there, it would have been even, it, it would be poor because um, we know get offices there. But again, you just try out of you make the resources where you get. Or I think this is a very smart way. You will save government costs, not just government well, taxpayers because our tax taxpayer and we now we mainly pay tax right now. But and the citizens that pay tax money, so it's very good. Now, I'm very much concerned before we go to some of the challenges that we need to face because I, I, we will round up very soon. And, and you know you. Com your own sort of corporation is, is responsible for registered businesses. Now, uh, if you look at any developed country, including any country you don't visit or develop, the backbone of those countries are, are more businesses, more SMEs, companies that where they, where they operate, you know. So what do you commission to do? Because this is something I'm really passionate about. What do you commission to do for, for not just sit down for register, but like what do you do? So I'm sure perhaps you do already, but I'm asking the question anyway, is what do you want to do for encourage people then for register more businesses in the country and what do you do not just for register business are there programs perhaps it's not your remits but are there people partners you work with so make sure say because the higher level of registration in the country it should say unemployment will go down they will begin to pay taxes and we will, we will boom waiting specifically the commission they do if they will do not remit but if not you know they will do not remit who is responsible for it 
Okay, um, first of all, you find out, say, yes, it's true, we don't make inroads in terms of the registration process. But even those who don't register, how much are they actually contributing to, to the socioeconomic, you know, development of the country? You find out, say, mm -hmm. we play as the then at the informal sector. And then people, they are so, yes, they are informal, but at the same time, then they, then they control the economy indirectly, so to speak, yeah? Because the amount of money within at that circle day, but yet still they, we can't identify the economy, not able to identify them, they know they pay taxes. And then the this bit conception that okay, because I they pay me local tax, that I don't register. And that is not the case. Now, for let you legally identify, you get for me mentioned earlier, sole proprietor, partnership, cooperative, or you become a company. All right, now that same day the economy do identify you legally. What we don't do as a commission, we do a pilot two years ago where we set out for train 400 women, not because I'm a woman, but because at that point in time, there was a government policy where they may make for say 30% of government contracts have to go to women. So now my thinking was, okay, if 30% get to forgo to women, a majority of the women and the informal sector, somebody has got to bring them to the formal sector for they're able to compete. So we begin for do training. We go out, go Kenema, Makeni, we go Lungi, we train probably about 400. But one thing we can realize is one day training and one day workshop, not enough. Not just, no. Because there's a lot of information that you need to bring to, to them. First of all, for let them understand the benefits of formalizing. Because the first thing people think of is, okay, this day while I can begin pay Boku tax. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So you really need to train them and school them. Say, okay, one, they give you opportunity for make you able to improve your business, for make you understand things, the corporate governance, for make you able to put proper structures in place so your businesses go be, business could be sustainable. Because Boku man, the kind of business, two years, who's idea? It don't fall mm. by the wayside. You not you not get any kind of business development, you know, exposure services or training. So when we be run this project, we we you know we find a lot of things that we needed to to do this project over a long period of time. Mm. Do modules that where we go able for training women, but we can't do it alone. So yeah. we don't really look at how we we'll partner with institutions like SMIDA, like um the local content um agency, and also with the private sector, because mind you, we're not to operational side. So you can't yeah. left the private sector when you're looking at development for the private sector. Yeah. But who that we we'll partner with for the help for the do business development plans for them for their and um, businesses there so and bring them gradually into the the uh, um the, the former sector, the either space, as right. sole proprietor, you know, after that, maybe don't go small, so take go be partner. Then after you yeah. say, okay, you know, I don't already, I don't strong for every company. For the statutory requirements where they carry with um, company, I want yeah. to go full fledged um, company. Yeah. So, yeah. this is something the government is looking at. Even if you look at the medium term, national medium term strategic plan, you go see, say, one of them now for improved private sector growth, and they look at primarily for being on board over 300,000. Um, you know, businesses, new businesses, but more so targeting the rural um, mm -hmm. areas because, you know, free town, not to salon, and um, of yeah. course, the, really the players that they lay out in the provinces in agriculture, and more so in agriculture. So, yeah. um, we don't really look at that. In fact, recently I've been talk to you and women for see how we came for look at this project. We don't begin talk to um, the World Bank because just a couple of days ago, they launched um, women entrepreneurs um, in the tourism. You know, there's this. Um, Okay. Yeah, funny where they come in, where we really look at it, what can we tap into for somebody to drive this process. It doesn't have to be CSC. Well, we can work with Uda, they're ready for take up on board, share with ideas and see how we really help. They, they, they show this, and I've got to one of your mouths, uh, but you have a partner that you're looking at because uh, for the past two, three years, uh, we have been operating in that space, the Vitos. Uh, where they bring the show live now. Um, we'll be able to do free, free, free workshops. Uh, and I palm, we don't collaborate with I palm, and we do it every month consistently. Every month, so we do boot camps, we train people, you know, not just you know about business, how to develop a proposal, business plans, marketing. We do a lot in that space. So, like I just say, you want to venture into the private sector, and we can recommend we use the Kiduam help you do those kind of things because this is one thing we are really passionate about. So, if you want to take that conversation further, we are more than happy to help you. And then to, to really implement that. But thank you because you already think about time. It's part of the national strategic plan. And it's something we can take further uh, down the line. Now, I know so we did come really to the peak of the time. But before we, we sort of um, run this program, I know we'll, I know we'll end this program without asking you what are some of the key challenges that we face. 
na this commission, <laughs> you know, what are the key challenges that we the face and uh, how we manage them so far, so good. Okay, I'm not going to start with the obvious one. Let's like, go to the other one first. Okay. Okay, right now, we, we get strong constraints with, with space, of with, with existing office space where we are. So there's an annex to our building where we look at rehabilitating that annex thing. Why we want to do that? First of all, we need to bring on board more, you know, data data entry officers. So, of course, they need space to set up these terminals for letting go. They digitize documents that come in manually and make sure, say, we they do verification of the information within our database before we they roll push, push that information into public because data we not verify, it's not useful to yourself, let alone to the one that we get for access. Them. So, it's really yeah. critical for what we they verify with data and it's an ongoing process. But another thing, what we they look at doing is to see how we can do value added services. Now, if we already don't do incorporation and registration, we already they work with NASIT for issue the NASIT number, we they work with NRA for issue the TIN number. We want to see how we can add banking services to that turnkey facility day. So we they look at getting the space ready to bring banks that are ready to work with us. So mm -hmm. as part of the incorporation process, you simply have a box to tick as to whether you want a bank, a bank account to be opened as part of the facility. And if the answer is yes, you choose which bank you want and then the bank or the access with data and open your account as part of the process. It just mm -hmm. make it easy for everybody. Easy for everybody, yeah, yeah. As those who get, you know, and we come up with these initiatives based on how we see we workflow the goal. Because the goal financing company don't incorporate today. In two days, you want a certified copy of everything. Mm -hmm. We can ask why you want them copy there. Oh, the bank wants them to open account for me. So we mm -hmm. wonder now, okay, what, why don't we just let this process be part of the, the services we offer and add value? So one of the challenges is getting the additional space. How are we going to get the funding to do the rehabilitation? Is government willing? Maybe government will are they, you know, they able to do and for you right now? So we they look at that. They for do the rehabilitation for get the extra space. Mm -hmm. The other thing again, funding an issue. Okay, you sh it's one thing to have the allocations, you know, the allocations on paper. It's another thing when it comes to disbursement. You know, to all them, we they get the money we government you know allocate to we. So if they're not say, for instance, they give us six hundred million for operational cost for the year. You don't do your procurement plan, then they end up with 400 million. Obviously, it means you have to be cutting down on critical activities. We can be giving activities for the proportion agenda forward. So, that then I problem because we don't keep our revenue, everything goes to consolidated fund, it even makes it worse. So, the yeah. money goes on consolidated fund, they want any money, maybe for charge meet or whatever. You get for a week, you get your subvention. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes yeah. these things could be really frustrating. But mm -hmm. having said that, I get for give kudos to the Ministry of Finance. One, because then they listen. Yes, the money no better. The coffers are small. Majority of it is already going to salaries and wages. Mm -hmm. A small dollar for projects. But still, if you can justify what you want the money for, what you do with them, what kind of value they add, then they're able to meet their needs. And they, so conversations are ongoing right now. Discussions are ongoing for see how they can able for you know um look at we you know we. But interestingly, after we did our budget hearing, we allocation was four hundred and something million, and we justified. And now we right. knew allocation for twenty twenty don't go to eight hundred and something million. Right. Right. I think city money go cool, but trust me, when you're sitting in the position of a vote controller, you know, say that money they you know for and look at especially when you look at the kind of reforms that we want for do, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, plenty. But we do do it best for make you know, the greatest use out of the little resources we we get. Right, okay, that's fine. So when I, when I think of any partnership beyond Sierra Leone, let's say, for instance, uh, because some of these things, um, you're constrained definitely by, by finance and budgets, uh, but is it, have you ever tried to reach out to, let's say, corporate affairs, company house in the UK or company house in neighboring countries and see how we will share knowledge or maybe there are softwares or maybe things that will, maybe they will be sent X packs. Have you ever done some sort of collaboration? Are you thinking about it? Yes, we already get collaboration on the company's house in the UK. In fact, most of these reforms that we're looking at is because we started working with them from the one. So we've learned from their mistakes. We know they do things with them, you know, make mistakes and exactly. run at a loss and finally they are to disadvantage. So we they learn from them. But at okay. the same time, not all money get a budget for just a boutique come and push into another economy. So that yeah. is why locally through the Ministry of Trade, we try to see how we can keep a partnership with IFC, for instance, because they can like them. We help we get consultants following work on the draft of the national corporate governance code we did try for see how we able for the work with the world bank as well for see how we're able for tap into existing projects then we did 
um, especially now we talk about the doing business reforms, the bank don't make commitments for look at four key reforms and um, four key indicators and start a business is one of them because we really need for digitize that process, go full blown mm -hmm. electronic from A to Z of, of the processes just for make sure say we get more you know efficient um um service delivery so yeah we did, you know like i said the discussions are ongoing but of course yeah. then things, you know they happen overnight okay just two, two last question uh which one are you advise for diasporans uh because most of the people really rush out because i'm sure they one of these right on the echo fest they enjoy themselves <laughs> and I don't, I don't blame them Mr. Mr. One day, but like those watching from diaspora for instance uh, which is your advice? Are there opportunities in Sierra Leone? Uh, perhaps it could be a silly question, but if so, you know, which is your sort of advice for somebody where they watch you right now, wants that business, but is skeptical about the processes, all these, you know, when you talk about, which you will say to them, for encourage them for invest in the country? Okay, first thing I will say to them is, I want for echo one word, and that is partnership, partnership, partnership. Mm -hmm. You see, when people end in the diaspora, maybe you, whatever business you want to do, try and find out who else is in the diaspora that wants to do similar business that you can partner with, because obviously it reduces your risk, and I share the responsibility, Dandy. So now mm -hmm. go for look at that and say, okay, no, we, no, we put we, we resources together and able for roll out, you know, um, um, particular project, you know, the more problems there are in a country, those are opportunities right there. So for everything we'll get challenged with, now opportunity, business opportunity for let people mm -hmm. in come into the private sector and help for make contribution. Mm -hmm. The economy no go grow if not public sector the driver, if not public okay. sector are the highest employer, for instance, the private sector really needs to to be a bit more robust, you mm -hmm. know, and in as much as I understand there's that need for the app, we fumble them. Sometimes just sending one barrel, the person they put on the street, they say they do business. That is not the way to go. There's no mm -hmm. proper accountability. You know, it's just addition to the existing chaos way they, so with a mere small advice is that, um, you know, try for identify other people that are willing to work with you for make one mm -hmm. do proper investment. Anyone yeah. that wanna identify in our tongue for make sure say they do the investment. In as much as we all want for work with we fumble them, some ten then day, you get for make and clear to the farm will say, not to me you they work for you. this na me and people and get this business. Now the business you they work for. Mm -hmm. If you don't can't work, you know we'll get paid. If you not deliver, you not get forget any kind increase or whatever. They need to know what are the expectations within and the responsibility, so that on our investments no go fall by the wayside because it's hard. We all don't get small exposure abroad, but they work them money, then they you send them naya for business, mm -hmm. and people mm -hmm. just stay where they call. You have to ask yourself that possible they put in that business. He gets that business acumen for helping for manage this thing. Let mm -hmm. not just be say is it only all in the room for saying and the price this. How, what value can they really add? So I'd really talk to with us, we fumble them where they abroad for really make them go into partnerships. Look at what is out there, understand what the government they try to achieve, what the people of Sierra Leone need, because once there is a need, there is an opportunity for, for, mm -hmm. for investment. And that way they then go for make more impact and also help their family more within a little. Right. Um, Ms. McKay, sorry on that. Do you have time for one more call? Uh, we said we have one call in line or? Should we just yes, pull yes, this one yes. and yes, yes, yes. So call her, call her. I think if you don't mind, good evening. How are you doing? Where are you calling from? Which is your contribution question, please? Yes, um, good evening. My name is my name now Alaji Umar. Now I call from Philadelphia. Okay, Alaji, welcome, Alaji. Uh, go on, sir, please. Yes, um, yeah, I want to uh, thank uh, Michaela. Um, I see they give a brilliant, um, explanation on the basis of corporate so um and i i see saying that somebody will really proactive i just they bring a suggestion because mm -hmm. you, uh instead of no see any country for develop now people in an indigenous way for come together and put things in together for later country to develop like um <clears throat> businesses so um i just suggest to that if you know go kind of um make a um a meeting or a conference for people away they overseas um recently i listened to one of these rich guys uh where they stand for the democratic party bloomberg he say young people uh, need for eliminate certain thing there what he say he say young people need for eliminate i and me that i i na me no more 
because it's like now the thing that the way they resonate to so many people then just one me me and when you look at the most successful people in today in the world now people are way they come together and do something so um we we like we the overseas uh, everybody just want to do that on your own now make it we they see sometimes failures there so how about if you go encourage talk to people uh, and diaspora them um, for come together as a um, kind of a conference people and they are no people and they will they now find side they wouldn't work fine where they get ideas there for invest or for do something relating to manufacturing so how it will be sit down with them people and they and get the experience because in resume is so rich he already got yeah. the experience as a young person for yeah. letting everybody understand you we all need to come together me don't talk to certain people for say oh now this we didn't for do but people don't know seem to understand so the, sec- the second thing also we um i really want to talk to them how it they work because the 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 job way they do now kind of political in the sense um it work between uh, uh the the trade in uh, trade industry the minister of trade so how um that no go kind of impact in job way they do because some time they get for go through the minister of trade and so many bureaucrats they would go through how are they able to navigate for letting them then they eliminate because na be na challenging thing and they so the other thing also how like for example the VOS I know say them they try for register and operate in a salon for a very long time. I don't know if whether related to this conversation where they do. Why what is the VOS need for do extra for letting we will register them? And he as somebody way they na that side I is him. What you go able to advise viewers right now for saying that this one I need for do for learn now go register when a television station or radio station. Then the other thing also, the car did also. I go grab night today, I go invest in a salon as uh, as an Australian citizen or because I did America, I don't know how they go and take me. So now the okay. question and this is where I want for the answer. Thank I think very, so very interesting question. Thank you very much for this question. Yeah. It will take time to respond, Ram. But thank you for your calling and, and if you listen, I think uh, you will get the answers. Thank you again. And um, yes, Michael, over to you, please. Okay. Um. Thank you very much. Um. For for that um, intervention day. Okay. It's interesting you mentioned manufacture because I can tell you right now it is the area if people are looking for investments now for go into that. You know, if you found like he called Sierra Leone a signatory to the AFTA, the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, where they go live in June 2020, that not just probably barely seven months they go live. Now, what in that mean? It means say when goods and services they come out from a member state within the African countries, right? You able for show origin from their country day, you they get um the benefits of certain tariffs for the able for take them to other countries and the able for sell and they. All mm-hmm. right, so that they, it don't increase your market straight away because if initially Nasalono will be the thing for do business, you don't get platform now for able for take your product or your services across to any of the other member states and they and, and, and sell them just as if they originated from that um state. So manufacturing is really really critical. With regards to the conference, I would say I'm fortunate for the able for day amongst the Sierra Leone delegation for don't go um three international conferences where they may guest on promoting investments, one in Morocco, one in Accra, and also one in London. Now, although the purposes of them um in um in investment form they did not before it attracts foreign direct investment, but um I see no reason why it cannot be extended for include of rather focusing on Sierra Leoneans in the yeah. diaspora. Yeah. For me yeah. Anyway. Come. So, um, again, you know, we are open to suggestions. I can tell you if not the funding, we know get time for say we're able to organize that conference day. But if it's mm. something the diasporans are look, looking at and they want to bring or want for make, you know, experts, we don't even need to come physically. We just mm. had a discussion here close to two hours where we did go through processes and procedures. We don't even need for fly home. We can able yeah. for getting connection there. It, it will for talk to ta- the Sierra so in the diaspora way. They want for able for do business in Sierra Leone, particularly in the manufacturing, it will look at the several opportunities we did. Mm-hmm. Now, with regards VOS registration, VOS registering in Sierra Leone as a company is not a problem. 
Mm. Where the problem could be is getting the licenses for the transmit because where do you transmit from? If you're transmitting from Sierra Leone, then obviously you're forgetting the requisite frequency for the able to do in and day. Maybe mm. NASCOM get for looking to the equipment and the systems when they put in place. So if anything at all, if you want for the radio radio um transmission again mat you know issues relating to availability of spectrum so now they know what they you know what we, we csc would not be the hold vos can register so waiting me they made the courage now now for start with the registration now one one step once you don't get your registration on the way then you can now go to the relevant uh, um authorities then for able to get you, you license so for just sit back and say oh we know we'll get the license i don't think it's the right way forward i think say now for just register first because no law not the prohibition sure. sure. now um you also mentioned the, the politics you know the politics well every country game politics i can tell you i'm not a politician i'm a technocrat i'm a professional i am where i am because i work because i deliver not so because i didn't have any political party and i tell god thank you for in grace and in, in wisdom and in guidance and the protection that i'm in a position to do you know um, um what i'm doing for Sarah you know benefit you know it's not personal benefits on my side so Really, the politics they play all side, but I think the politician they say no say me not to politician. I'm not having active politics. I, I, you know, I'm just I'm just a professional and I do my job. You know, so but for you now, love, you, I, last you know, so for now I am where I am and I'm doing what I can do. Right. You know, when I can do it right. and just but that's all. That's fine. And uh, I think the idea of conferencing very, very. I think we're right. I think we send one so just towards the end, but if I would call out though. They'll, they'll, they'll say that and um, i think again purposely for just Sierra Leoneans, we can even use the embassies in these countries like say for here and people just come over drinks and we discuss some of these issues because yes it's good for what it was so but again when you will be able to see you in person as well and you break these things down you can inspire people you can because we don't have a money issue we have a people issue we don't have a money issue trust me people they get even if not five five hundred pounds or two two hundred pounds people they put together let's say one million Sierra Leoneans come together and and invest in one manufacturing and everybody invests to 200 pounds across we're not going to and we say okay this is a structure everybody has a share and this is what it takes that alone can able open a, a, a cassava farm or maybe you know what i mean so we don't have a money issue i'd always say people that now what we have is lack of resourcefulness you know so that we go we go use we exploit we partnership and this i i i like what they call us say is something we have to eradicate but i will encourage you really strongly for next year as part of your agenda may you do specific conference if it's in london i don't mind giving you my my free expertise if i get time over the weekend to help you organize things like this but do i'm not just in london canada meet Sierra Leoneans, and this could be a lot because you do this with the bottom of your heart and trust me it will impact the nation in big way we don't see a lot of users that come on our school and not get jobs you know and we still reliance on government 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 when the solution is not jobs is you business is creating these jobs so i believe say we could get a call now there's a message here about viewers say viewers is registered as a corporation in Sierra Leone already okay. we are in the process of obtaining the broadcasting license so you're very right okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> the problem also you, you to, so, so, so this is how proactive you are really but let me let me just have your, your party words by the way we don't spend two hours wow <laughs> precious time um your party words what do you go say to we people then when they listen to and ask you party words tonight okay firstly i want to say a very big thank you to viewers for giving this opportunity because when i don't make we don't reach a lot of people them in just this short space of time and we they look for more of the opportunities they are we you call we no more we come you know we're always ready and willing to give information and to assist and to be found with the way they out there i have to say no we not give up on sale you know some of winners i don't passport no more we're not getting another passport you know and someday no matter how long you want to come back home and the question is what do you want to come back to you know, easy follow we sit and they complain government do this government do this but the question is what what are you doing to help mm. to make a difference in the country so i uh, really encourage me brother and sister them abroad for you know let we all come together put hands on deck and let we see how in real small way we be able to make a difference in our country not of what we say you know but at least for we picking them let them know say now this we people they do for ever make a difference that's alone sure Thank you. Thank you very much and with that i want to say to people them i hope you enjoy the program 
and I mean, I just say join, when I share them because people that they would want to listen and maybe it gets information from this. But thank you for staying with us. Thank you for all the callers with the call. Again, we want to say thank you very much, Miss Mike, um, Michaela. I don't, I don't know what it's called, Miss, uh, but I just said Michaela. Thank you very much for your time and the, and the educative session. Miss, I've gained a lot from this. At least I can able to teach me entrepreneurs what a mentor about some of these processes where they ask questions. But again, we hope for get you back in 2020. But we, by the time we would all go number 10 uh, on the list, at least. And um, but keep doing what you're doing. We are proud of you, Sierra Leone is proud of you. We're not going to pay you for the service system. Stay, stay, stay in your lane, like how you stay so. Make sure the integrity you maintain up. We are proud of you. And of course, at some point in time, whether you like it or not, it's like people are already calling you Mrs. President. Perhaps you're the, you're the best <laughs> president. So, oh, with that, I want to say good night. So we found with them. And next week, again, we get another very important show that will be on marketing. And, and customer service, and uh, we get a very good consultant who can sort of throw some lights. And uh, but again, I want to say, Tata, good night. I'm gonna sleep well, I'm gonna dance, and it's on our one to Or make sure stay, you keep salon at the center of your heart. Thank you, and have a good night. Thank you. You can be my rock. Have you been looking for a place to get quality education but don't know how or where? Canadian College of Modern Technology, situated at 1 Silicon Hills, Mile 91, opposite former Camp Charlie, is the right place for you. Canadian College of Modern Technology, an athlete of Dallai University, is a fully accredited college with a tertiary education commission, CEC, and a national commission for technical, vocation, other academic awards, NCTVA. We provide world-class tertiary education in computer science, business administration, mass communication, business information technology, Microsoft server administration, networking, database administration, building and construction, and other professional courses. Apart from its conducive environment, which makes it suitable for learning, Canadian College of Modern Technology is proud of its experienced local and international staffs. Come and experience the transformational learning environment, fully equipped with CCTV cameras, a world-class electronic library with the latest iMac computers for collaborative learning and research, and access to high-speed internet service throughout the campus. And guess what? Canadian College of Modern Technology is the first college in Sierra to operate the first educational purpose-only television and radio station for its mass communication students. Come and be part of this historic experience. We have reserved a space for you. You want to know more? CCMC provides 24 hours electricity from a solar harvest power supply system with a backup generator. These highly secure campus also have a canteen, student hostels with clean pipe bond water. Canadian College offers many more amenities for our students to help make learning a good experience. For more information, contact us on these numbers 079-630-407 or 099-140-208. If you want to succeed, Canadian College will exceed your expectations. Canadian College of Modern Technology, a place where career begins. Cotton Tree Pharmacy is your new trusted provider of pharmacy services in Sierra Leone. You can count on Cotton Tree Pharmacy for genuine quality brand name and generic medicines. Guaranteed refills for prescriptions issued by doctors in Sierra Leone or abroad. Door-to-door -door medication delivery service in Freetown and beyond. Free health education. Have you heard about our Diaspora Medicine Connect? With Cotton Tree Pharmacy's Diaspora Medicine Connect, anyone can pay for your prescription online. Bring your prescription to 17 Podemba Road. Collect an invoice. Send your invoice to your sponsor in the Diaspora. Your sponsor pays for your prescription online. We deliver your medication to you. For quality prescription and medications, visit Cotton Tree Pharmacy at 17 Podemba Road in Freetown. Have questions? Call our pharmacist on WhatsApp at 030-611-664 or visit our website at www.cottontreemedicalgroup.com. Come to Cotton Tree Pharmacy. We are ready to fill your next prescription. This, this is my doctor, Heisey Bull. 
with the Durham, North Carolina, with another edition of True Say Talk. This True Say Talk Me, the can present to you a gift of good health from Cotton Tree Pharmacy to the people of Sierra Leone and also how we, with the overseas, go help with people and forget good, good medicine, we go help them. Cotton Tree Pharmacy don't come for solving problem, for help with people and with well body, and for help them with medicine and the way they need, we go change their life. The government self not able to do it in Cotton Tree Pharmacy, they do. We were the overseas, many, many time them, we don't get a four o'clock morning call. We, when I call they come, they say, she is sick, your brother sick, your picking sick, your mama sick, your papa sick. They begin to ask you for money for buy medicine with the same money, fitty fata, because we, the, we are so afraid that we will and go die. But, Cotton Tree Pharmacy don't come out with a way way with people that will get to two medication. And we say, we will pay for the medication the way they will get on time, we will help them. Cotton Tree Pharmacy, day 17, Pademba Road, na free tongue. And then get a website, we will help with information. If you want to call in a free tongue, the number na 232-306-1160. And the website that www.cottingtreemedicalgroup.com. Then get all kind of prescription medicine where you go want, and then get all the well body medicine. Well, I they can take you through the website. So you will be overseas, England, Germany, Australia, and all about the world, even other country in Africa, you will be able to buy medicine for your family. This now the website they work. This now the website for Cotton Tree Pharmacy. The address na 17 Pademba Road, Freetown, Sierra Leone. The telephone number na Freetown na 232 the telephone number for WhatsApp and for call in America na 202-361-9155. And if you want for send email, you go send the email to customer service at cottontreemedicalgroup.com. So how this fine fine website they work for the one the way they free tongue and for the one the way they America. Well, where you can at this website, first of all you get for type in www.cottingtreemedicalgroup.com www.cottingtreemedicalgroup.com and then where you can at this website you will click on the menu where you click at the menu like here I will tell you the prescription process so the prescription process is simply to tell you how it will work so, as I may not say, Cotton Tree Pharmacy, na the only pharmacy, na Sierra Leone way, they require you for buy prescription because they want to make sure say they do the right thing and people and get the right medication. So, the first thing you go do, you go take the the doctor in prescription way right to the pharmacy na number seventeen Paremba Road, Freetown. So, if you get patients. We seek na free tongue and you do overseas. Tell her, let them take and take her to a doctor. The way the doctor write the prescription, they take the prescription go na 17 Pademba Road. When they take the prescription go na 17 Pademba Road, then go take the prescription, then put on a computer, and then create what you call an invoice. Now the paper way you fumble with the overseas go use for make the payment. Then go give. The family name with it, na America, na England, na Australia, na Germany, any side and then at the world. And then Cotton Tree Pharmacy go send an invoice day to na person day, who side and day, na America, na England, any side at the world, either through their email or through WhatsApp, make them get the information. We na family with it overseas, get them, then go make the payment. Then go to go online, they make the payment. 
and then when they make the payment quick quick one they go left cotton tree pharmacy go no say they don't make the payment overseas then the patient will go pick the medication and if the patient never pick the medication cotton tree pharmacy go make arrangement for let them go pick the um, drop the medication for the person who is sick and so the other thing i want to show you now yeah, and they get plenty other tabs the way you will see but waiting cotton tree pharmacy they do these are the community outreach these are the pharmacy this are about the delivery that cotton tree pharmacy they don't they don't put the zone inside the free tongue area where they go able to do delivery and you go call for pricing so all the way past estates they go waterloo cotton tree pharmacy go able to deliver for you then get zone where they will get the okada or keke we go ride we go care and go quick quick for the patient so the patient will get the medicine so that they deliver all the way to zone four we include uh, Tokyo and go all the way to, to Waterloo. So these are good, 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 good business that they do in a salon.